Hello, my name is Tim Durham with Durham's Bee Farm, and we're located in North Mississippi. And uh, this uh, video is mainly directed toward helping uh, new beekeepers concerning uh, feeding their honeybees. And uh, uh, this is a smoker that we use to smoke the bees. And uh, be sure and, and smoke your bees properly. And if you're a beginner, uh, wear pr protective gear. Don't don't do what you're watching me uh, right now. Uh, honeybees. Uh, if you have any emails, uh, I will answer your questions. Honeybees uh, uh, are a lot like people. Their their temperament is dip one hive. Uh, may have a different temperament than the hive next door to it. If it's uh, if it's pretty weather, it's warm, the flowers are blooming, the, the honeybees are in a good mood. If it's cool, uh, like it is today, uh, if there's no flowers blooming, then then they may be in an ill mood, uh, kind of ill. Okay, here's a, a hive here, and I'm on the the top portion, the top box right there has two feeders inside these are quail feeders now I don't know if, if the camera if you can see well but see how the bees have really uh, come up there and huddled around the feeder now I'm gonna use my hive tool and and break those away from the feeder to see if they're if they're empty or not okay I took the box the empty box off and now you can see the uh, the quail feeder sitting on top okay uh, it's not easy uh, concentrating on the bees and doing a good video so uh, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna you're you're watching an actual feeding of bees in December and uh, for people uh, you, you have to uh, smoke them properly and uh, uh, people that are concerned about getting pure honey, uh, if you get honey from a reputable beekeeper, you will get pure honey. You're watching uh, an actual feeding. This is a quail feeder. All right, we'll set it up there. Now it's important, it's very important on these top feeders, very important that your hive is level. Very important. Can I, uh, uh, I cannot stress that enough. Now, uh, this is a quail feeder. Here's your here's your uh, your entrance right here. I have a mark on the top here. Now, I see that my this is my low side right here. I fill it up so I can I can be. See, this is my 11 o'clock is my low side. This this black mark here is my feeder hole. I want that feeder hole to be at 11 o'clock when I turn it upside down. That is very important. If you don't, the feet will, will, will run out and kill the bees. There are basically three different kinds of feeders. There's a top feeder, and there's different kinds of top feeders. Can, can you see... Uh, this sets on top of the hive. You take the top off there. This sets on top of the hive, and the bees crawl underneath, and they get to the to the feed that way. Uh, I, I really don't like that uh, very much. Now, uh, there is a an insider frame feeder that this sets inside the inside the, the hive, and I don't like that very much. That's my my top choice is a top feeder. Now I showed I showed you the the uh, uh, the quail feeder. Now this this is a entrance feeder. You see the 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 jar has little holes in it right here, little pin holes, and you fill it full of sugar syrup, and and this sticks into the hive. In, into the entrance of the hive and the bees go in here and they come in here and your bottle is turned upside down and they can suck the syrup out of the bottle and the vacuum 
will keep the syrup from, from, from running out. Now, in the springtime, if you had this sticking in the entrance of your hive and the bottle gets low and the, and the sun comes up and hits this bottle, it will cause the vacuum to lose vacuum and the syrup will run out if you have it in the front of the hive, in the entrance of the hive. So, you have to be very careful about that. Once you get robbing started, it is all, it is almost impossible to start to stop it. Now this entrance this entrance feeder, you can also use this on the top of your frames, like I do the quail feeder. Now uh, another way uh, that you can use this jar on top of the frames is simply put two sticks there and let the the jar set on. It needs to be level. Let the jar sit on the sticks, and the bees can crawl underneath the sticks and get to the syrup. But um, the quail feeder is, is hard to beat. If a hive is starving, and you want to save them in cold weather, that top feeder, in my opinion, is, is the only way to go. Now some people, if a hive is starving and they don't have a top feeder, they will literally pour granulated sugar down on the bees. To, to save them, so you know you do what you have to do to save the bees. Two things I want to I want to uh, stress to you is be sure and give your your bees ventilation at the top of the hive. It's very important. Don't 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 overlook that. Now these quail feeders, uh, you see how it comes apart, and and I if you can see it in the screen, uh, in 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 the in the movie. Uh, I put some screen around this trough. All the way around this trough, I put some, some wire mesh. That helps them get, get down and up again. So remember to do that.